Hey guys, what is up? This is Tamer from ITT, iTalk Tech, giving you all your latest news, reviews, and how-tos for everything tech. As you guys can see now, it's, it's finally my time to show my face on camera. You guys, some guys have been emailing me how I look like, and now I'm going to start a new segment called Tech Talks. Now, what this segment is going to be doing is going to be talking about technology that I think is going to be coming up or reviewing, actually, some of the newest technologies. It's going to be a really cool feature. You guys can submit your ideas in the comments of what you want me to talk about. But for this video, I'm going to be focusing on the top five things I, um, I'm expecting in technology for 2014. All right, so number one, I'm expecting an increase in smartwatches or wearables, just in general, wearable technology. Now, this can be a range from smartwatches to Google Glass to virtual gaming headsets and stuff like that. Smartwatches, I think they're um, going to become more realistic. They're going to become um, an increased demand, and I think they're going to be lower in price. I think 2013 was just like the introduction of the idea, and then 2014 is going to be the time when they actually go on sale and they actually become a reasonable thing to buy. They're going to have increased functionality. We saw in 2013, we had the Samsung Galaxy Gear, and we also had the Pebble Smartwatch. I think the Pebble Smartwatch really lacked a little bit in features, but it was a really nice in design and shape and functionality and battery life. I think that's one of the key things they're going to work on for the smartwatch is battery life because it's one of the things that people are complaining about and I really don't like it because I don't want to have to charge another device, you know. Um, we can also see um, Google Glass. Google Glass is going to make its way and I think it's become going to become more available for people to buy. And it's going to become um, something people do want to buy. It's going to become less expensive and it's going to be something that, you know, you can buy at your local um, eye store, eyeglass store or something like that. Next thing, number two, on um, what to expect for 2014 are curved smartphone smartphone screens. Now these are like um, the Galaxy Round and the LG Flex that were announced in 2013. I think um, people, manufacturers, seeing that um, it's getting a little bit of attention. You know, it's something different. It's um, another marketing. I'm not gonna say gimmick because you know it, it actually works, but it's like a marketing technique in a way. It's a really it's a really nice concept to think of how you can curve a smartphone, but it's not fully yet where you're like a a smartphone is actually flexible like you can bend it back and forth but it is a pretty cool technology um, I'm pretty I'm there's nothing bad about it it's pro almost positives about it because it's gonna fit better in your hand and stuff like that and it's gonna make the screen um, actually much easier to navigate around so I'm gonna see how that goes around you know increased development and availability in more markets we saw the galaxy round unleashed in Japan and when people were buying it off of Japan and then I'd like to see that come into carriers in the US like AT&T Verizon and T-Mobile and stuff like that all right, number three on my list are we're going to watch out for some highly anticipated smartphones. Now, some smartphones we're talking about are the Galaxy S5, the iPhone 6 probably, you know, HTC M8, the second generation of HTC One. That's the code name so far. You know, those rumors about them are increasing, and you know what? They're coming closer and closer. Maybe not the iPhone 6 is coming closer, but, I mean, it's still there. It's 2014, um, um, so... 2014 so we can see them we, we can probably see them in the fall um galaxy s5 rumors are actually increase, increasing right now because we're kind of getting closer right now it's kind of getting excited and people are wondering what's it gonna be we're seeing rumors of um qhd displays or 2k displays you know that's crazy you know all we have is t 1080p displays right now and they're really awesome and now we're gonna see higher ppi displays and that's gonna be really pretty cool you know having a 2k display while there's 4k televisions out there you know the technology world is increasing so fast um other smartphone pieces such as processors we could see new snapdragon chips maybe snapdragon 1000s because <laughs> I mean, they go snapdragon 600 then 800 you know 1000s probably next uh displays i've already talked about and cameras probably cameras could be bumped up from six to 16 megapixels to 20 megapixels we saw the nokia lumia go to 40 megapixels i mean anything's possible for 2014 man Biggest feature I want to see in smartphones, battery life. Battery life is killing me right now. You know, I see the Motorola, um, what is it, the Razer Max. Yes, 48 hours of battery life. That is outstanding. But you know what? I think 2014 can make it better. I think it can go like maybe a week. The technology is there. I don't know why it's not being implemented, you know. It's just it's just a matter of time, I guess. That's how I'm going to put it. A matter of time. But I really do want to see an increase of battery life. I liked what Motorola did with the um, Motorola um, Razer Max. Really good idea. Um, 
fourth thing I'm expecting customization and technology now we saw um, rumors or we actually heard not rumors but about project era um, showing um, different parts allowing for different parts to be put in and customizing our own phone to our own needs that's a really cool idea because you want your phone to be your phone you want it to act the way you want it to act to look the way you want to act and I think Motorola touched on that with the Moto Maker now this is for the Moto X and it's a it's a it's a genius idea to actually customize your phone and how it looks like you can have the front um whether you want it white or black and you can have the back any color you want it you can have the camera rim different color that you want it all right and then the, um you can even choose the boot um what you want it to boot like like what it's going to say when you boot the phone it's a pretty cool idea i think other companies are, are going to join in into this process of customization apple samsung it's a really cool idea i think it's a uh, um something um companies are going to start touching on all right, for the fifth one, and the final one I'm gonna expect, I wanna expect or uh, for 2014 is protection. By protection, we can see an increase or the um, use of new technologies to keep glass screens on the smartphones and our tablets from breaking. You know, we dread the moment when our, when our smartphone or tablet falls out of our hands and it shatters this beautiful screen against the rigid asphalt, man, using a lot of descriptive literary terms. We could see, um, we, all, we already see Apple rumors coming out with an introduction of sapphire displays. This could lead to a better protected, um, better protection from falls. Um, this could actually make or break someone from buying a phone from a, buying one phone from another. I mean, everybody wants their phone protected without buying like a heavy duty OtterBox um, case on it, even though it does protect very nicely. We don't, we want our phone just to be beautiful and just to be. I'm gonna put this as naked as we want it uh, naked. We want it just to be slim because we see the slimness and that's what we like. We like the specs when we see it. it's all oh, look, it got lighter. Oh, there's an air version now, but oh no, we gotta wrap it in an otter box defender case now. We're gonna make it like six inches thick. I mean, this could this could um, make someone buy something. We saw the Samsung Galaxy Active, and it was thin, but you know what? I don't think it did the work. I mean, it wasn't very waterproof. That could be something else I could touch on, waterproofing. And that would be really nice. I saw many companies, third-party companies, coming out with... Um, their little waterproof things, their waterproof um, coatings on their phone. And this is a really cool idea, and I think it could be in um, used in uh, manufacturing um, production of the phones itself. Um, so that's really it, guys. This is what I'm thinking should happen, or what I want to expect for um, technologies in 2014, guys. I hope you like this video. Please comment, subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, that's it guys. Um, these are one of the, my tech talks. I'm going to call them tech talks right now. So these are the new segments called tech talks. Uh, so see you guys in one of my next video guys. Peace.